Hey guys, my name is Sidious. I also like more let's play the Legends of Spirit Track. So, in the last episode, we finished this segment of the Tower of Spirit. Not Tower of the Spirits, Tower of Spirits. And in this episode, we're gonna head back, or we're gonna head down to our new realm that we discovered, the Ocean Realm. Let's go! Where do you wanna go? Oh, yeah, but by the way, this is what I really wanted to show you guys is that, um, if you're on one opposite side of the world, you don't have to go all the way around through another realm to get to where you wanna go. Like, this thing, this whole train. You'll see, you'll see what I mean, Mel, but like this whole thing rotates. It's really cool. I'm really glad they did that too. Is they did it would be a really big pain getting right. I mean, despite the fact that they have time warps and all, not time warps. Let's do the time warp again. I think that's or the time zone. I don't even know. That's kind of sad. Anyway, one moment. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's like the worst thing to happen in recording my cat trying to chew my wires. Anyway, let's head to our new realm. <clears throat> and uh, I guess I probably should cut this out, but I guess I'm just gonna talk a little bit through what all we're gonna do in this episode. Just talk a little bit. Yeah, this episode we're gonna head down to the new realm, which I, if I said any more, that actually could spoil what's coming up in the episode. Um, if I see any rabbits along the way, I'll definitely catch them and let you guys know and put that in. Yeah, that, because I do feel like, or at least I do think there are some that we have coming up here. But uh, how are you guys? I'm doing pretty good myself, actually. Uh, <clears throat> it's it was it was the weirdest thing because I'm I'm recording this on Friday night. Um, Black Friday actually. Um, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and so I'm sitting here in my bed. I'm like, better go to bed early tonight, which <laughs> go to bed early for me is 1 a.m. Uh, better go to bed early tonight so I can be productive tomorrow. Then I'm sitting there. I'm like, wait, I can't sleep. I have plenty of energy. My voice is good right now. I should just record a video. And I mean, it was weird because I was sitting there. My room is completely dark, and I have all like my noisemakers and fans running because. I don't know, like, I just have, I mean, I feel like I need to have, like, a lot of white noise going on while I'm sleeping, you know? Like, I mean, I have my fan running, all my air purifiers, god. Th these air purifiers are the only thing that keep me being able to handle my cat my allergies. I mean, seriously, like, thanks to them, it's like I'm not even allergic to my cat, it is insane. Like, ever since I, like, the first time I got my cat, my allergies were awful, and then I got all the filters and everything, it's like, I'm not allergic to the cat anymore, it's insane. Um, <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling, and, uh, see you guys once we get to where we need to go. Okay, I decided to stop at Beatles just because there's one thing. If you guys remember the membership card we got, I think it was either in the last episode or, no, it was a few episodes ago. Um, the more we shop here, the more rewards we get, and it's best to start shopping early. So, we have zero points, so we really should. We have, we have plenty of rupees. Um, let's see, I believe I have full potions. But they're red potions. And now that we have all of our heart containers, uh, the first full row, we probably could use a purple potion. Um, how are we doing on bombs? That's 100 rupees for 10 bombs. Well, I think it's like every 10 rupees you spend, so we spend a good bit of rupees. How much is a purple potion? 150 rupees. Uh. Yeah, might as well. Not that. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm too lazy to drink a potion, so I think I'm fine. I think just buying 100 bombs right here is. Yeah. 10 points. For 200 points, we get a silver member card. Okay. And we want to do that. So, so far, we're already about a... Wait. We just got 10... Yeah, we're about a 20th of the way there. So, we're fine. Um, we have plenty more game to go. And I'm not going to be, like, obviously showing this on screen every time I buy something. Just every now and then, you know? I mean, I do recommend if you're going for 100%, you know, well... And I hope I hope there's at least one person playing along with us play. If you're going for 100%, definitely, like, just whenever you can, even if you don't need the items, just go buy and buy. Just, just go buy. Just, if you have extra rubies, just go buy and buy something. And by the way, you can do this. You can shoot the birds, and I, it's just, I've always done that. <clears throat> you can shoot the birds, and then, like, you hit one, and, like, that's going like, flee. But anyway, let's go across. We're almost here to the bridgey bridge. Blah. There's a little train station right here. Hello, train station. <laughs> I mean, this looks so weird. It's, like, one little house. Like, it's one thing I decided to say about this game. Wait. Oh no! I wasn't looking. Crap, okay. Oh no, the bridge is the bridge is torn out. Oh no, we better stop because our train is damaged. Uh, anyway. Here we are at trading posts. Who knows a trying to oh the trying station hold out here. And there's that one house. <laughs> because obviously the house is the whole settlement. Anyway, <clears throat> why don't we see who lives over in that house over there? Okay. Might as well. So the bridge is out. Looks like we can't proceed the ocean realm. Yep. <laughs> Just as I was saying, look, the bridge is a complete mess. How are we supposed to get out of this out of the bridge of the state? Maybe someone out here can help us fix it. Okay. 
maybe the guy in the house over there, or girl, or whoever it may be, hmm, making assumptions and that yeah. Anyway, there's actually gonna be a lot of voice acting in this episode, and the first voice actor we see here, and for you, Phantom Hourglass veterans, you will know exactly who this is. Well, 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 what do we have here? What do you want, you ruthless ragamuffin? This is no place for the likes of you. Shoo, shoo already. Get out of here. Hmm? What's that you say? Who am I? Listen well and remember the name, Squirt. I'm Linebeck III, President of Linebeck Trading. I hunt down the rarest antiques from around the world. Then I sell them to the highest bidder. How's that for an introduction? Did I just blow you away? Well, you do make a good point there. I am pretty spectacular. You know, I couldn't notice before, but you possess a certain charm, Squirt. But what are you doing here? You don't like you've got treasure to sell. Hmm, you're trying to get to the ocean realm, but the bridge is out. Well, that's a sticky situation, isn't it? Sheesh, kid. What planet are you from? Do I look like I fix bridges? No way. But I agree that the bridge has been a sad mess. The huge storm we had really did a number on it. I was gonna call a bridge worker I know in the snow realm to fix the mess. But with the spirit tracks vanishing, I've got bigger fish to fry. See, I deal with merchants all over the world and now I can't get anywhere now. Wait, you're an engineer, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect! Go fetch the bridge worker so we can both get on with our business. Sound good? I knew I liked you, Squirt. I'll wait here, so go fetch the bridge worker. Chop, chop now. Okay. Well, and by the way, what else am I with Van Argolas? That is the descendant of Lineback. Lineback the third. Lineback, if you guys remember him from Van Margolas, he was a guy. I mean, I really haven't been Van Margolas, to be completely honest, but I played up to the second dungeon, and I know that he follows you around to land, or at least ride on, on his boat. But, um, he is from Van Margolas, um, so for those of you who played Van Margolas, you'll recognize him. It's the exact same sprite, I'm pretty sure. Not sprite, but, um, model, character, I don't even know what to call it. Anyway, would you like to board the, board the train? Board the train, okay. Well, I guess we're off to the snow realm, and that will be a little bit of, I almost said sailing, that will be a little bit of train riding. So, I guess I'll see you guys there. Ooh, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, might as well catch it, okay. So I have as good of luck as I did in that first episode, yeah, I did, great, awesome. Oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 okay, if you get, okay, I'm gonna leave this in. If you get in a situation like this... What you're gonna want to do is spam him with bombs. This temporarily slows him down, okay? It slows him down a little bit, so definitely do this. And is he going my way? No, you gotta make sure you're going the, the other way that he is not. Hopefully you do not get in that situation like I just did. It can be quite frightening, okay. Anyway, <laughs> okay, I guess that's your tip of the day, I guess, I don't know. And we are finally here. <laughs> I went around looking for rabbits in that um, one area where that one demon train is. Which, by the way, it's not they're not called demon trains, they um, are called... God, I had the name on top of my head. I, 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 put, I put it up in a thing in the last episode. Anyway, stop here. Bridge worker's head. Oh, not head. <laughs> Bridge worker's head, here we are. Anyway, okay, there's a few crows and two jellies. Just worry about th I mean, don't worry about them, excuse me. And let's just head over to the house. Do we have anything in the mail? No, we don't. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bridge Worker. And by the way, this guy was also in Phantom Hourglass. So, another guy you'll recognize. Hey, what are you doing here? So you're trying to restore all the spirit tracks? Sounds like a lot of work. Hmm. That's a big heart you got, the little guy. I guess being an engineer isn't all red carpets and calvia, is it? Sometimes you just gotta roll up your sleeves and put in some hard work. See, I'm a bridge worker, carpenter, and craftsman, so I know all about work. If you need a bridge, I'm your guy. 
I'll travel to any place that needs a bridge. It's called being a professional. That's why I expect you to ever store the spirit tracks like a pro, too. What's the matter? Is there something you want to tell me? What? You want me to fix the bridge? Alright, let me add it. I got something to tell that line back anyhow. I'm ready to go right now, so I'll head to the train and wait there for you. Thank you. We'll see you at the train in the next episode. So, next time, let's play the Legend of Spirit Tracks. <clears throat> we will drive our very, very, very first guest to the trading post. Which I forgot the name of there for a second. And in fact, before we end off this episode, I actually, I'll save for the next one. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode, and next time we'll take the bridge worker to the trading post to fix a bridge. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.